It happened again this weekend. Bands of thieves ran into two different Walgreens stores Saturday afternoon, one on Mission and one on Market. They cleared out the shelves and ran out the door. No one was arrested. It's out of control. Michelle so Leopold that, has seen it happen again it and again. She's part owner of six Ace Hardware stores across the Bay Area. At our six stores, we have seen so much blatant shoplifting where people will do it because there are no consequences. I think I have video of a customer that walked out with two Yeti coolers. Most of the shoplifting is right under that $949 limit. Leopold says this guy stole eight propane tanks from the Pittsburgh Ace Hardware. Leopold says this couple took off with bins of tools and supplies. There's just no interest at most by most of the police because of the proposition 47 that was passed 10 years ago prop 47 made some theft and drug crimes into misdemeanors to help reduce overcrowding in state prisons See leopold says she believes prop 36 will reform that. prop 47 by increasing penalties for repeat shoplifting and fentanyl dealing Prop 36 allows felony charges for possessing certain drugs and for thefts under $950 if defendants have two prior drug or theft convictions. San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan and San Francisco Mayor London Breed support Prop 36, saying it encourages treatment for those addicted to drugs. But opponents say, don't be fooled. Proposition 36 is a perverse fraud, and I'm hoping that voters aren't duped by it. Will Matthews fraud. is with Californians for Safety and Justice, a public safety advocacy organization and leading opponent of Prop 36. Matthews says Prop 36 is misleading. It promises to produce mass treatment on demand without creating even a single dime of new funding for this supposed mass treatment. Governor Newsom is among the opponents of Prop 36. They say it slashes crucial funding for victims, crime prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Opponents of Prop 36 believe it will lead to more crime and mass incarceration. Most people agree Californians desire and deserve to feel safe. The question is whether Prop 36 is the best way to do that. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.